Recently, Sly Cooper and Daxter were added to PlayStation Classics catalog and these were some of my favorite games as a child, so I'm going to get the Platinum Trophy for each of them. I'm going to start with Daxter, and I actually never beat this game as a kid, so this is going to be like a new experience for me. After the initial cutscene, you get to take control of Daxter for the first time, and I was not expecting the game to look this HD. He looks fuzzy, man. He looks soft. Bro, that is clear. That is crystal clear, dude. What? Upon reaching the first mission, I will get the first trophy after getting hired as a bug exterminator, but I missed it because my phone rang, so I didn't even know I got a trophy. When I got back, I was completely oblivious that I even got a trophy. I don't want to look all sweaty and shit, man. I'm always looking sweaty and shit. I mean, I am in the sun all the time. You can't tell, but I'm actually a lot tanner than what I look like on camera. This ring light makes me white, but I'm actually pretty tan. After that, I found a precursor orb for another trophy. The Not these again. <laughs> and I need to find as many of these as I can because I'm going to need 250 precursor orbs for a trophy and eventually 500 precursor orbs for a nice gold trophy. From here, the game will lead you to the first level, the Westside Hotel, and when you get there, you're greeted with a trophy. Wow. Dactor's on the job. It's so funny, like, when you're playing the game, it looks crystal clear, but then you watch these cutscenes, and these cutscenes, oh my god, like, they're hard. They're, they're really pixely dog. I gotta bring back 20 gems, or wait, what did I say, 25? While I was using all my skill to kill these bugs for their gems, I came across a cage and I got another trophy for collecting it. Look how cute it is. What is that? Collect a combat bug cage item. Collect a combat bug cage item. I'm still in the hotel level and I found another one of those combat bug items. What is this? What does it do? Collect a combat bug token. Another one of those. Okay. I finished the mission and collected as many orbs as I can find and then headed to the next level, the construction site. And just like the hotel, I got a trophy for coming here for the first time. Hard hats required. Oh, this is going to be another trophy. This is going to be another trophy. Watch. Yep. Bug juice. After I did some amazing platforming, I got to watch a cutscene where Daxer shows off his riz. I could ask you to sing, sweet cheeks. Well, if you must know, I'm Taryn. During this cutscene, Taryn will give you some new equipment, and after it ends, you will get a trophy for meeting her. Damn. Damn. <laughs> What is that, Tyron the Engineer? Immediately after receiving the new equipment, spraying a bug with it also gave me a trophy. I thought you can like fly with that. Can you use it on this? What is that? I thought it'd be lethal. I quickly finished this level and moved on to the next, which is a vehicle level. But before I get there, did you know that you can help me unlock a secret trophy by hitting the subscribe button? All right, let's go, baby. Anyway, like I said, the next level is a vehicle level and the objective is pretty simple. All I have to do is clear out the infestation and kill the queen. Watch me take this inside. Easy, no fly zone. After I return to the city, I can now drive this moped looking vehicle around and it gives me the ability to jump the gap in the city street. When I was done looking around for orbs, because remember, I still need 500 of those for a trophy, I met up with Taryn in front of the bar where she gave me an upgrade for the bug sprayer I received from her earlier. Mean Green Spraying Machine. Obtain the bug sprayer pressure upgrade from Taryn. Okay, but that, see, that's what I needed. That's what I need for, like, a few... Not here for drinks? 
Enter the brewery level. Okay, I like getting trophies back to back. With the new upgrade I just got from Terran, I can now use the sprayer to hover in the air for a moment. And the gas is now flammable, which does make it lethal. Nothing quite like a toasted carapace. Defeated bug with a flamethrower. Okay, I like that. I don't know if I said that word right, but I like it. After some more dope platforming, I reached the main objective of the brewery level and that is to fix the mechanical issue by stabilizing the pressure and you do this by playing this mini game. This sorta had me cross-eyed. Another one of these. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, come on. Yo, this mini game is messing up my brain, man. I can't even get my words out. Ah! <laughs> when I see that one, I I hit the wrong button, man. Okay, there we go. Okay. I got it. Good work, my orange friend. Back in business. Did I jump down here? Oh. Does this pay off my tab? So I left the bar and I got a call to head to the metro station to take care of a huge bug infestation. And of course, when I got here for the first time, I got a trophy. Probably gonna get a trophy. Yep. Every city needs one. But yeah, every time you enter a level, you get a trophy. So that's cool. Wait a second. Look at this. Oh, I hit the mother load. At some point in this level, I ended up getting chased by a train, and after outrunning it, I got a trophy. Oh, that was risky, man. Risky business there. Full steam ahead. From here, I continued the level until I found the source of all the bugs, and it looks like it's going to be a boss encounter. That's definitely a spider's ass. Yup. I truly don't know how, but this thing actually killed me. Bro. I could not clutch it with one life. Okay. Oh. Don't bug me, please. So collecting orbs will unlock mini games that you can play and they're pretty silly. They parody popular movies of that time like this one is mimicking the Matrix. <laughs> oh man, that's good. And once I played three of these mini games, which requires 200 precursor orbs to do so, I got a trophy. This is Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, this is great. Sleepy Retreat. Play three unique dream mini games. Now I'm on my way to the power station so I can take a portal to the next level, the strip mines. Mind my mind. All right. While I was here, I ended up collecting enough precursor orbs for the 250 trophy. You can never have enough. I finished off this level's objective, and then I had to return here to this area. I basically have to do the exact same thing as before, except for this time, there's three queens. Right here, cut them off, cut them off. And stay gone. Let's go, man. After I return from that mission, I get a call from who I think is Terran, but I'm not quite sure, when suddenly I see Jack in a police cruiser. You know, something important. I can't help but think. Hey, look. 
there's Jack. Now I have to chase down this cruiser while dodging all the bombs it's throwing at me until it leads me into an ambush. I got saved by this stoner dude and after a quick joyride, he dropped me off on a boat. Daxer to the rescue. Plug 30 gems, okay. Bug infested boat. Uh, I'm assuming that's for the level. Eventually, I ran into Tyrant again and she gave me another upgrade. Pyroman. Pyromanic. Pyromanical. Two. The next couple trophies are just more level trophies. Don't feed the fishes. I love these. I love these easy trophies, man. I don't know what happened, but somehow I didn't record this trophy popping, so I'm just going to play the sound. Now I have to do a mission with this guy, and we have to kill another queen bug, but this time by chucking grenades at her. One more. Oh, you making a little fake on me. Waterfly of the Isle, man. While I was here, I also collected enough precursor orbs to finally unlock that 500 trophy. Keeper of fancy eggs. Now that I have enough precursor orbs, I can come back here and play the rest of the mini games for a trophy. Now, I should get a trophy for this one, right? Is he Gandalf? Oh, this is Lord of the Rings again. This is either this is the beginning of the the second one, right? Yeah, sweet dreams. I need, yeah, trophy man, sweet dreams. Now I need to earn a gold medal by replaying one of these mini games and scoring high enough. All right, sweet. Now what was it? The second one? Yeah, the second one was easy. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna I'm gonna get gold here because if you get if you get the gold trophy for this, you get a trophy. I don't know what you need for gold though. It's probably like a hundred or something, right? See, my problem is I don't, I should have looked up what I needed for gold. So I'm just gonna keep going until I feel like, I mean, I can honestly do this forever. All right, I definitely don't want to have to do this again, man. Oh, fuck. Oh no, dude, I messed. No! No! No, I messed up! God damn it, I messed up! I lost track! Oh, what do you need? What do you need? I needed 200! I needed 200, and the gold would have been mine! Oh man, they're coming. Wait, pause, bro. Oh, one more. Okay, gold is mine. There it is, bro. There it is. Dax to the great, man. So when I was done with that, I returned to the construction site level for a trophy. Don't look down. From the title screen, you can access a mini game called Bug Combat, and this is trying to mimic Pokemon where you battle a bug against another bug. I thought you have to win this, but no, simply just playing this minigame will get you a trophy. Okay, if I can pick right, if I can pick right, right here, if I can pick the correct move, I will win and get a trophy. I, I lost, I lost. I picked the wrong move and I lost, so I, I don't get my trophy, bro. It's over for me. Oh, bugged out. Alright, so back to the main game. I'm at the power station so I can take a portal to the strip mines again. Extreme bug infestation. Let's go, man. Here, Terran will give me another upgrade for my sprayer, and using it to kill a bug got me a trophy. What is that? Experimental carnage. Still on the strip mine level, at the end of it, I have to fight another boss. Defeat the hive queen. This looks like a boss. 
Take this. Oh. I don't even want to question what that is. Bruh. Relax, queen. Oh. That was a hive. No, it's her ass still. Okay. Hive mine. The remaining trophies are unmissable story trophies that you automatically get by simply beating the game. Except for this one. I saved a pretty easy one for last. All I have to do is hit this picture frame and Dax's platinum is mine. Oh, I see. Oh, yeah. Right here. Look at this. So you, you just pick it up like this. Putting on a friendly face. Let's go, man. Discover a hidden mask and now the platinum, right? Bug boy extraordinaire, man. Let's go, man. I actually really, really enjoyed this game. But wait, the video isn't over yet. Now it's time to get the platinum trophy for Sly Cooper. Immediately after starting a new game, I was put into a tutorial, and when I was done, I was able to go to the first level. Man, I really have to get used to these controls. These backwards ass controls. While I was trying to get used to these controls, I got my first trophy after collecting five clue bottles, which are this game's collectibles. Get a clue. Unlike Daxter, where most of the trophies were story trophies, Sly Cooper has a lot of miscellaneous trophies like this trophy to break five signs on this level. A thieves a thief heeds no warning. I collected the remaining clue bottles, opened the safe, and finished the level by grabbing the key. I kept completing each level while collecting everything until I got here. On this level, the safe is at the beginning, so I had to come back after collecting all the clues to open it, and when I left through the entrance, this happened. Nimble solutions. Complete the fire down below without grabbing any hooks. Okay. I went in the front and left through the front. I got a trophy for finding all the clues and unlocking all the vaults in the first world. Plunder treasures. Once I complete all the levels in this first world, I'll get a trophy. And this last level used to be so hard for me as a kid. I have to shoot all the crabs without letting them take a single chest. Dude, see, look at all the crabs, man. You lose. You literally lose if they take one in, man. Get back. Get back. Get back from the chest, bro. Get back. Get back. Get back. Dude, literally, these are the last three. These are the last three. These are the last three. Back from my chest. Get back from my chest. Get back from my chest. Get back from my chest. Thank you. Stopping the storm, man. Now I have to beat the first boss of the game, and it's a frog named Raleigh. Bosses are pretty easy and straightforward in this game, and beating them will give me a trophy. Broken Crook. I'm in the second world now, and entering this rooftop level, I found you can jump on these hanging cars and knock them to the streets. After I knocked down all the cars, I got a trophy. Look out below. Occasionally, these safes will contain a page to the Thievius Raccoonus, and finding them will give me a trophy. No more beaches for Sly. I finished opening all the safes in the second world and moved on to the boss level. The main boss of this world is a dog named Mugshot, and I have to avoid getting shot by him while I turn these mirrors. My beautiful gun is destroyed. I'm telling you, he can hit you so easy, man. 
Uh, see, like, it's just so easy. No, no, he was in my way, dude. He was in my way, man. Okay, okay. See, now you have to start all the way over. Blinding Blaster. Now I'm in the third world, and the trophies I got here are pretty much the same as before. I opened all the vaults and completed all the levels. There are miscellaneous trophies I could be going for, but I'll do them later. For now, I'm going to fight the third boss. The third boss is an alligator named Ms. Ruby, and I have to dodge her voodoo spells before I can lay a beat down on her. I find this boss fight to be boring because it's a little slow, which makes it long, especially if you die, which I did at the end. Dude, how? Dude, there's no way I missed that. That that's not that's no man. No. Do I have to start the whole thing over? I have to start the whole thing over, man. Oh. Bayou Boogie, man. Now I'm in the fourth world, and the first trophy I got here was for finding another piece to the Thievius Raccoonus. Super Cooper. On the level Duel by the Dragon, I hit these two pink fireworks, and I got a trophy. Setting the mood. After that, I completed all the jobs in the fourth world for a trophy. Uh, production blocker. Complete all jobs and fire this guy. All right, man, let's go. The fourth boss is this fire panda, and in my opinion, this is the easiest boss in the game. Even easier than the frog. Panda Pummeler. In the last world now, I'm about to beat the final level before the boss, and this will give me a trophy. Oh my god, Death Ray Destruction. The only other trophy in the last world is to beat the final boss. Eternal enemy. Okay, let's go, man. Defeat clock. It took some okay, I'll take it, man. Oh, to snatch oh no, he didn't. Steal a kiss. Claw. Okay. I, I don't know what that came from, but I'll take five. it, man. I'll take it. I'm not done yet. I still need to get the remaining miscellaneous trophies. In the level, the Flaming Temple of Flame, I'll get a trophy for knocking down all of these monkeys. Okay, do you have to like come in from the top or something? You do. The session's over. <laughs> and on the same level, I opened the final vault for a trophy. Safe cracker. Nice. This next trophy, I'm pretty sure the way I got it isn't supposed to happen. Charming the library. Complete a cunning disguise without using a barrel. Okay, man, I'll take that. I will get another trophy if I can jump over those flaming planks from here. Yeah, through the fire and planks. I need to destroy seven panes of glass in this level for a trophy. 
What a pain. If I can kill all four of these casino enforcers without getting detected, I will get another trophy. See, the thing with this one is that they can... Sometimes when you hit them, they just detect you. Like... And this should be it, right? Yeah, slide of hand. I need to beat this level without taking damage or falling for another trophy. The perfect date. Similar to that dog trophy, I need to kill all the voodoo guards on this level without being detected. It must have been a ghost. For this next trophy, I need to defeat five ghosts with one swipe of the cane. That's three. Ectoplasmic Slasher. I need to complete the level Descent into Danger without defeating any enemies or destroying any alarms for a trophy. Sounds easy enough, right? Except for whenever I finish this level doing that, it never popped the trophy. Dude, that was actually quite difficult. Dude, I, that was actually kind of hard. Oh, but I triggered the alarm, so it didn't count. Okay. Oh, okay. This should be it. This should be it. This should be it. I should get the trophy here. I really should get the trophy here. I didn't kill anybody here this time. I'm so confused. How am I not getting it? Eventually, I decided to try something different. You probably have to make it through the whole level. You know what? You know what? I, I'm just gonna do it. I'm doing it. Sli slight, slightly pacifist. There we go. Seen and wanted. Alert every flashlight guard and set off every alarm and unseen foe. Nice. I need to blow up two enemies with a single mine for a trophy. <laughs> Share what's mine. Knowing is half the battle. Learn the name of ten enemies through the Banaki Khan. Get away from me. The last thing I need to do is complete 10 time trials and the platinum trophy is mine. Oh, this be Get up there, get up there. Come on, break, 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 break. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? I like two, there we go. Speediest, devious. Oh, I love that trophy's name. And the platinum, right? A Cooper's Pride. Let's go, man. Thank you for watching. If you want to see me get a really hard platinum, check out my downwell video or any of my other videos too. Peace.